Hey everybody, it is the Honey Badger, and today we're going to be working on the rear side windows of the pickup. This one's actually already been worked on. Um, we have clear glass again, matches the front. Fronts were never tinted, but the rears were, and I'm going to guess it's whatever tint was put in a long time ago because it's very, very purple looking. So luckily these are easy for me to take out of my pickup. Um, if you can't take your windows out, that's okay. You can just do this in your vehicle. Um, obviously, depending on the space you have in your vehicle, it might be a little bit tighter, but for me, I can luckily take the side windows out pretty easily and work uh, on them at my bench, which will be a little bit nicer because this tint is gonna be a little bit of a pain to take off. And I'm gonna show you if your tint is similar, what it takes, what tools you might need to get the tint removed. So make sure you drop a like on this video, check out the merch uh, down below in the description as well. And let's get over to the bench, start working on this window. All right, now that we have the window outside of the vehicle, um, we can kind of show you what we're gonna do and what the plan is. Now, if your vehicle can't let you take your window out, that's fine, that's pretty normal actually, but you wanna roll your window down just a little bit to start where you can get um, to the edge of the tint against the glass. It's gonna be the easiest place to start. Now, the couple things that you're definitely gonna want to uh, try to remove this. Uh, the first thing is some type of heat gun. A um, little bit easier to do this in the summer if your car has been sitting in the sun or a heat gun goes really far too. You actually usually probably need a little more heat on top of that. It just kind of depends. Uh, a hairdryer can sometimes work, but sometimes those don't actually give you enough heat. So um, one of these is pretty cheap. I'll leave you a link down below to uh, probably this one or something similar on Amazon, maybe 20 bucks. Um, so you can get one of these. These are helpful in a lot of situations too. Um, Debadging, um, heat, heating up your badges and taking them off with these. Uh, all types of little things too. Uh, this can be a pretty helpful thing. Anything vinyl related too, definitely want a heat gun. Um, and the other thing you're gonna want is a new razor blade. It's got to have a perfectly sharp edge down at the bottom. Anything that's got like little grooves in it or it's damaged, you can scratch your glass. So you need to have a perfectly smooth razor blade or else you uh, can run into problems and you can actually hurt your glass. So be careful. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, then don't do it, obviously. This one looks old, but it actually just has some weird surface rust from the package it was sitting in that was in my house. But the edge is perfectly smooth and flat. If you notice you damaged it, go get a different one. Um, they come in like packs of 20. Again, I'll leave you a link down below to razor blades because they're very helpful. So like I said, the first thing we're gonna do is just heat up the glass of the corner and see what we can do to peel it. Try to use our razor blade to get on the edge and see if we can start to peel this back. We're gonna jump in and see if that's even possible. So I don't know if you can actually see um, from the angle the camera's at, but I can actually see the inside of this glowing in the reflection of the glass. It will not take long for this to get heated up, at least just in this area. Yeah, in fact, it's already quite hot um, to the touch. So it doesn't take a lot to start to get this. And what we're really trying to do is just get the adhesive um, to be sticky again, instead of complete, completely adhered to uh, the glass. So if we heat it up, this gives it the opportunity to release itself. So in fact, I can see the tint. I haven't tried this yet because I didn't do it on the other window. I can see the tint lifting due to the heat at the edge right now. So hopefully, if we get this hot enough, it might actually start to pop off. I wanna make sure that I get heat in most of the window too. I don't want one spot of the glass to be extremely cold and one to be extremely hot. Um, I don't think it would fracture the glass. Watch it happen on me, but um, that could always be a problem. You can actually see this peeling at the edge. So um, if I come at this now and I get So we have two things happening. One, the top layer, the closest layer to us on the tint is actually peeling back before it's taking the adhesive. The adhesive is actually a second layer. You can kind of see here that the uh, adhesive is here and the tint layer is here. And the tint layer is already coming back, but the, but the adhesive layer, you know what? The adhesive layer wants to come too, but it wants to stick more to the glass, which can be one of the issues you run into. Um, where you get your tint off your window, but you don't actually get the adhesive off. And you either have to scrape the adhesive off, with, which can take a while. It's actually what I had to do with the last one, but if this one's gonna cooperate with me more, I'm not, not gonna be upset about it, but you wanna make sure you take your time and keep your heat gun moving across the glass. And again, at this point, I could make an attempt to kind of really peel this back and see if I can get this going. And if you're gonna keep your heat gun on like I am, you gotta hold it a ways away. I can still feel the heat hitting my hand, but it's not burning me. So this is actually working to the point where I can peel this with my hands. You can see here though, perfect example. This is the glass. This is the, the adhesive part of the tint that hasn't wanted to, hasn't wanted to release yet. And that's where our razor blade comes in. We'll put a little bit more heat in this window. This adhesive, because I've already done this on one, I know for a fact, see it wants to just kind of peel. 
and part of it doesn't want to come. So running into a, a little bit of an issue with that. But if we can get this to kind of stay together on us over here and get this big piece to kind of come off, eh, it'd be nice, but I think we're gonna, I think we're running into issues with the adhesive. So we can see this tent wants to come off in one piece. It's very much so doing that, but this is all the adhesive. In fact, it's sticky glass adhesive tint. So again, it won't always all come off the way you want it. It's when the razor blade comes in handy and you can get underneath it and you can, you know, you can get, you can peel it up and heating it up to peel it off and scraping it off this way is a possibility. And again, it's not the end of the world, but that's kind of what's going on here. So again, the tent, it wants to come off, but it doesn't want to bring the adhesive with it. It's looking like, and that's how the last window was. So I'm not surprised at this. And this is still piping hot. It's radiating a lot of heat, but I'm just going to use my razor blade carefully to get underneath it. And you can either scrape down or scrape down and get underneath it and then pull bits of it off. Um, but this is really the method I'm probably going to have to use for how old this tint is. I've had other tint not do this anywhere near as much as this. And again, tint grades or the company that made the tint or the quality of the tint, um, that really all can be a factor. So um, I don't think I'm going to be successful with keeping it onto this, which means I probably can just, yeah, that literally will just pull itself off. So um, kind of a pain in the ass, but whatever. It's, uh, it's what it is. And then again, I can just come in and scrape all this off, which is the way it's looking like it's going to go. All right, I have finished getting all the purple off with the razor blade. It just took a lot of scraping as you saw. Um, but yeah, that's all it takes, but it's annoying. And obviously a little bit more annoying if you have to do it in your car, that much scraping. So it is what it is. There's still a little bit, just a tiny bit of residue on this. I'm gonna use some 3M general purpose adhesive cleaner. Um, I'm just gonna dump some onto the glass. Stuff's fantastic. Um, Goo gone, goof off, all that stuff, also really good. Um, but this stuff, uh, also very good. This will help get all that residue, any of the extra just stickiness um, that isn't part of the actual tint off of the glass. Um, actually works as a pretty good glass cleaner too, in a certain manner. Um, and you can actually use this on both sides of the glass. And you can actually, if you have really, really dirty glass or like baked on stuff, in fact, I can tell that the, the outside part as it feels gritty. You can actually use some of this. And again, a perfectly sharp, clean razor blade. You can use this on, on your glass to help get off extra like chunks um, that might be on there in a very like adhesively adhered manner in that regard. So you can actually lightly do this. Um, you can actually see stuff that's getting pulled off the glass. Um, and I can tell it's that the glass too, I can feel it's making less noise and smoothening out where some of this crap is. That's kind of baked, baked onto the glass and clean both sides of your glass that way. So um, kind of a fun trick. So this glass actually feels a hell of a lot smoother now too. It's getting some of that extra crap off. You can do the same thing too with, uh, with glass cleaner and you can, you can use that when you're done. Yeah, there's a lot of crap on this super old 30 year old glass. Um, so yeah, once this is now, or not once, but now that this is all cleaned up, um, there might be just a little bit on the edge there that I just need to get off, but will, this is now all cleaned up. I'm gonna throw the hardware back, back in it and try not to break my glass, throw it back on it, throw it in the truck, see how it looks. Also, heat guns get hot, literally burned a microfiber cloth through the glass. So uh, yeah, careful with heat guns, they get very hot.
Okay, things are a lot nicer here without purple tint. This looks a lot better, and obviously having it back in the vehicle is nice. Now I just need a windshield and a back window, and we should be good to go. Um, but this does look a lot nicer. No more purple tint. If your vehicle is the same or your tint's just as annoying to remove, make sure that you get a fresh razor blade. The last thing you wanna do is take your tint out and scratch your glass with a really crappy razor. Also, if you're doing this in a car or sedan or any vehicle, uh, and you're doing the rear window and it has those defrost lines going through it, do not use a razor blade on those. If you break one of those lines or you, or you make a, a nick in it, they don't make the connection anymore and they will not work. So don't use razor blades on those. Um, if your tint's really bad and you can't get it off a rear window like that, you might have to go take it somewhere uh, a professional can help with. Um, but definitely for your side windows, um, this is definitely an easy way to do it. Make sure you check out the description um, and check out some of the products I used if you need to source any of those or just see what I used for this um, particular project. Other than that, um, I'm gonna carry on with more projects for this vehicle, so make sure you're subscribed with the bell notification on. Uh, drop, a, or drop a like, leave a like, um, smash it hard. It makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside when I see a lot of them. And other than that, I'll see all of you guys in the next video.